script and start filming it, did you want it to be more collaborative? Did you want kind of people to have an un input so the, the kind of narrative, the thread of the film might kind of adapt as filmmaking went on? Yeah, I mean, always, I'm never afraid of uh, talking to people about the ideas and mm. seeing them through. I mean, we've got a great DOP, David McDowell, who's the opposite of me. He's a, he's just does my head in. You know, he's questions <laughs> everything in the film yeah. and laughs at it almost like this is ridiculous. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Which I quite like because you, you sort of then have to justify yourself mm. yeah. rather than live in your own head. Um, so I didn't mind collaborating on that. I collaborated a lot. I, do a lot of TV commercials and stuff, and I don't like that kind of collaboration because it's very corporate and it's money, so there's money on the line. But with this, it was purely just creative people getting together. <coughs> there's nobody's money on the line except Quite from yours. Except mine. But <laughs> the budget wasn't that much. It wasn't that much to lose really, because um, everything was shot locally and, and produced locally, and catering was local. It was. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. You know, in in that terms, it was more of a pure pure film because there's no none of those uh, political things or executive producers. We had producers, but they were more there to manage the project. And they said something quite important before we started sh shooting the film, which was, "We know you're trying to make the best film you can, so just get on with it." You know, why we look over your 